Welcome back to another video. Today we are showing you what it's like to travel to a customer. I'm here at Northampton Station. I am traveling to Birmingham this morning. One thing I did notice when I was buying my ticket online that uh, when I went to London yesterday it was 75 pounds. We're going to Birmingham, it's only 25. Well, actually it was less than 25. We're here at Northampton Station, nice and early at 10 to seven. So let's go grab a coffee and then get on the train. Right, I am traveling on the train to Birmingham now. I had a choice of the train or drive. I prefer the train because I can get an hour of work done. So I've got two big meetings to prepare for. So I'm gonna crack on with that now here on the train. We'll catch up again in Birmingham. So I have just arrived at my customer site. My customer site is so big, I'm actually here in a Starbucks. I'm shortly going to get myself a coffee. I did a lot of work on the train this morning and I quickly wanted to mention getting the train versus driving. So it takes me roughly an hour and a half if I was to drive to this client and about an hour and 40 to an hour and 45 if I take the train with getting there early and everything else. The huge difference is for about an hour of that train journey, I can sit there and work. And today I had to prep for a contract end meeting, also a opportunity meeting about some storage. Having that time to actually prepare for both gives you that extra hour. Whereas if I was sat in the car, the only thing you can do in a car is make phone calls. And again, making phone calls at 7.30 in the morning, number one, is probably not a good idea to either your customers or your colleagues. And secondly, making phone calls in the car is just not very good full stop. Obviously, roads are very busy and it is incredibly dangerous. I'm about an hour early. I'm just about to meet my colleagues. They should be here in about 15 minutes. We're gonna do a final prep, get ourselves ready for the day and then go into these meetings. I'll give you an update after my first meeting. So a pretty productive day here with a client. I must admit it's my favorite bit of the job is speaking with clients and having good discussions. The contract end meeting is always disappointing when a contract comes to an end, but that's just the way business goes. But lunch meeting with probably one of my favorite contacts in the industry went extremely well. We got some great projects and opportunities to work on. Generally, they're all quite long term with some immediate stuff. And then of course we got expedition season coming up. So we're now literally just walking through the customer site. I'm gonna head back to Birmingham New Street and then get myself back to Northampton and uh, review the day a little bit more of travel and all the good and bad things about having to go to customer visits here in 24. So just arrived into Birmingham New Street and I have to say this place is always one of my favourite of the major stations here in the UK. Check out the big ball that you have here, look at this. It's a hell of a piece of art that is, I tell you. Five minutes to my train, let's go. Made it to my train, I've got a good five or six minutes before we go. So got a coffee, get on some work and uh, ride the train back till we get in the car at Northampton. So we are now back in the home office after about an hour and a half travel back. It was an hour's train ride followed by a 20, 25 minute car journey. Just logging on now to kind of wrap up the day. We're gonna do a bit of follow up to both the mornings uh, meeting and the uh, afternoon lunch appointment. Um, we've got some planning to get in, some deal regs to register with some of our vendors, and we've got to engage those ready for the next steps of the two meetings today. So quite exciting. I just wanted to talk a little bit and very briefly about the difference between getting in the car to go see a client versus getting on the train. For me, the massive benefit of getting on the train is you can sit there, relax, and get on with some work. Every minute you're in that car, it's dead time. There's not a lot you can do in it, particularly if it's early in the morning. Whereas if you can get yourself on a train, you can go get yourself a load of emails done, Teams calls, meeting preps, presentation preps, follow up and everything else. Whereas in the car, the best thing you can ever do is take a call and it's not really an ideal situation. If you get into a serious conversation, you can't take any notes. You've got to rely on your own memory for any meeting notes and actions that you need to take out of it. My biggest recommendation, if you're going to your client and you can take a train to them, take a train. Or if you need to drive part of the way and then get on the train, I do recommend it. The cost difference is so close these days, especially when you're not traveling to London, because that's the biggest cost, or Manchester even. Just get on with your day. It saves you working ridiculously late at night and early in the mornings. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit of what a day looked like when I travel to customers. I would say it's my favorite part of the job. 
So if you're new to this or you're been in the industry a long while, if you can get out in front of customers, I highly recommend it to everyone. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a like and a subscribe. It's much appreciated. Tomorrow is Friday, so we're going to do a weekly wrap up, what Friday looked like, and hopefully not be in the pub too early. See you in the next one.